So in this video we'll be going over how you can get yourself a free beam smasher on the map terminus in Black Ops Zombies. Yes, this is completely free. You do not have to pay a single penny in to get this wonder weapon. You do not have to hit the mystery box. You will just be crafting this by getting free parts around the map. But in order to get these free parts you will have to complete a series of tasks. So first thing you're going to want to do is power up the map and basically well you should know how to do this the map indicates you how to do this anyway so just follow what the map is basically instructing you to do by turning on these power generators there are three of them one's in the first spawn room one's just down from the communications and then the final one is in the lab areas so once you've turned all three of these on and powered them up and defended them for the 30 seconds then you will want to come down here, jump down here and basically get the pack of punch lift out of the water. So as soon as this is up and out of the water, you will want to come and find yourself an arsenal machine and buy the dead wire ammo mod onto a weapon for 500 salvage. Once you have done this, you will want to come back over to the uh, pack of punch platform and pay 500 uh, essence to get it to ascend to the top. Now when it is ascending to the top there are three power boxes you, you are going to have to shoot with your dead wire ammo mod weapon so the first one can be found in this window just shoot it and it will move over to this one just on the left view and then to this one at the top. So if you shot all three of them successfully if you come into the living quarters now you'll see this one is basically glowing, shoot that and then shoot this one and this will open up this room. Kill this zombie and this will drop a fob, just pick up this fob and we can move to the next part. So there are three computers around the map, so the first one is down by the docks, come down to you, interact with this one, this one is X, so note this symbol down or you can note it down later, it's up to you. This one is Y and then this one well that one is in the storage areas and then the next one is just up in the communications interact with that and then you want to make your way over to the c tower once in the c tower if you come over into the corner of the room you will see a briefcase with a hand attached to it open it up and take the item out of it and we will be able to move to the next part so come back to the room we just opened, interact with this computer and you'll see the item we just picked up is now placed into you. Now if you interact with it, it will tell you to enter a code. So down in the description there will be a link to this website. Input the code that you can see on the computer screen on the notepad, on the sticky notes. Input them onto you and this will be give you the code. So once you've got your code, obviously it's different. it will be a different code for your game than it is for mine. So make sure you're not copying the same code I'm doing because you might have a different code but like I said just input the X Y and Z symbols you have in your game and it will give you a code just input that then once you have inputted this end the round and you'll be able to pick up the item back out of the computer and you'll see like the computer is marking an island around the outskirts of the map so my island is the island to the right of the main map so I'm gonna make my way over to there once you get here you'll see like this blue sort of like orb thing growing on the actual island you're going to want to come up to it interact with it and now a load of zombies are going to start spawning so the aim of this is basically this orb is going to strike certain zombies and you'll know what zombies have been str basically striked because they will be going the same color as the orb so obviously this orb being blue and you can see this zombie uh, is basically glowing blue. Sometimes if you've got the dead wire ammo mod, this one can get confused for that. But once you have killed the zombie that is glowing, go up to it. And the blue bit that is on the floor, interact with it. And you will have to walk this blue orb back into the bigger blue orb. Once you have repeated this for two to three times, you'll be able to pick the item back up on the floor. And you will move on to the next island so for me the next island was the very bottom island of the map so as you can see this one is green so you will need to wait for this orb to strike zombies and then obviously the one that is glowing green you'll have to kill that and then pick up the orb off the floor walk it back over to the bigger orb and repeat again 
until the orb is basically disappeared. So wait for it to strike another zombie, kill that zombie, pick it up and walk it back into the orb and then pick up the item off the floor again. So there is one final one we've got to do, so the island that you haven't been to, so I believe this is the one in the top left. Come over to that one, this time it's a purple one, interact with it again, you'll place the item back onto the floor underneath the orb, kill the zombie that is struck by the orb, walk it back over to the orb until you basically have flash of white now pick up the item again and then you can come over to the room that we originally opened with the dead white ammo mod and you'll be able to craft yourself a free beam smasher